All right, guys. Uh, in this video, we are going to take a look at uh, is it worth still learning WordPress in 2020? Right. So in here, you can see I am on Upwork, and this is a person who is uh, developing WordPress uh, website. Take a look at this uh, person's uh, profile. He has earned more than one million dollars uh, using WordPress. Normally, he charges uh, seventy-five dollars per project according to his profile. Uh, let's uh, dig deep and take a look at the projects that he's been currently doing. All right, and these are the projects uh, he's currently been doing. And normally, he charges uh, seventy-five dollars. Take a look at uh, WordPress custom post type issue fixing like a developer for SEO keyword analysis integration, WordPress front-end developer for landing page. Uh, you can see the amount of money he has earned through these uh, WordPress projects. So a lot of people tend to say that uh, WordPress is uh, out of business and there is no use of learning WordPress. Uh, WordPress websites are slow, but uh, despite of their comments and criticism, take a look at what's really worked, right? So if this person can earn one million dollar using wordpress why you can't because uh, you can if you get the right skill set and the right uh, experience you can uh, work on upwork and you can earn a lot of money so if you don't know about the upwork this is the world uh, largest uh, freelancing marketplace you can work uh, if you like uh, on this platform or if you want if you have a project uh, you can hire freelancers using this uh, platform this is the largest one and you can hire anyone from around the world around the clock so that's pretty easy let's take a look at another profile in this uh, upwork website and you can see this person is from india he's also a wordpress uh, developer so you can uh, take a look at this uh, person's profile and he's also developing wordpress and take a look at the projects that he has been done in the past Right, so this guy has also worked on Magento and other uh, stuff. Of course, uh, you cannot uh, completely depend on uh, WordPress. You have to have the HTML5 skills and CSS skill as well as uh, JavaScript. And if you have a little bit of skill about the PHP, Angular and React, Node.js, uh, that can add more value to your skill. Uh, you are hourly rate. So normally this person is uh, charged uh, thirty-eight dollars per hour, and you can see that this person also has earned more than two hundred dollars, right? So let's take a look at this profile, right? So this uh, another successful WordPress developer. You can see this guy has the PHP, WordPress, and Magento uh, expertise, and also you can take a look at the past projects that this person has been done, right? So. You can see the WordPress, WooCommerce Sync and Website Work. Uh, these are pretty expensive projects. You can take a look at the uh, amount that he has been earned through this uh, project, right? Uh, you can scroll down and you can see the portfolio of this person and what kind of work uh, this person is doing, right? Convert PhD design to WordPress uh, responsive website development. You can see the work that he has been done in the past. So by studying uh, his uh, portfolio uh, you can take a look at uh, what kind of skills uh, you need to gain in order to become a successful wordpress developer so uh, for the those who uh, say that uh, wordpress is uh, out of business uh, i would like to uh, show this example because uh, some of the top companies in the world are still using uh, wordpress to the, uh, uh, to manage their websites take a look at this uh, bbc america right so this site is built on wordpress so you may ask that uh, how do we know exactly uh, are they using WordPress? So you can see that by right click here and you can go to the inspect if you are on Google Chrome. And when you go to the inspect uh, you can see this is the sources tab. When you uh, switch to sources tab you can see uh, this right so by looking at this uh, WordPress content we can see that they are using WordPress. Also if you take a look at uh, this uh, Sony Music uh, website. They are also using WordPress to manage their website. That's uh, you can also check that by inspect element. It's a pretty straightforward process, right? So also the TechCrunch, the tech leader in uh, world, using this uh, WordPress uh, platform for their website. By looking, by considering all of those things, uh, we can say that still WordPress has a value. And if you have uh, this skill set, uh, you can earn a lot of money. 
And uh, if you ask uh, from me, is it worth learning WordPress in 2020? Definitely, I would say go for it. Uh, if you want to study more profiles and if you uh, want to see more details about this, so you can create an account on Upwork. Uh, you, it's free. You can take a look at the profiles of this person and you can see how much money they have earned and skill set, what kind of projects uh, they have worked on. So by that way, if you have this kind of similar skill set, uh, you can start working on this platform and you can start earning. So that's uh, today's thought about WordPress, right? So I would say that uh, it's uh, definitely worth a skill in 2020 and uh, I would uh, definitely recommend to learn it in 2020. So that's it for today's video and if you like to become uh, this kind of uh, interesting stuff about uh, being an online entrepreneur, you can subscribe to our channel and uh, if you have any questions regarding this, uh, please uh, leave a comment. Uh, I'd like to answer your questions. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time.